today we're here with Spencer Lee Neal from Tour Samoa, three times premiership winner and most importantly my little brother. He's going to give us a tour of his, where are we? Yeah, I think this is sort of our media room slash massage room, so it's a bit small. But yeah. Very nice. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, and where we're going to go into now, what is this room? This is our team room where we have most of our, our meetings. Yeah. Most of our meetings where all these boys come and have our lunches, dinners and all that kind of stuff, so. Yeah. Thank you. This is our team room. What are your villages and your iwi? Do you know? Um, I've forgotten my iwi, but my um, villages are Falefa and Malaya. Uh, there were lots of parades out here in South Auckland and all over Auckland, actually, before your um, game against Australia. How has it been for you to see and even at the fan day? No, it's good to come over here and see um, our support system over here, especially coming from such a small nation and um, especially rocking up in, at the airport at two in the morning and we still had people there and flags everywhere. It's good to see. Um, when we arrived off the plane on the weekend, it had already started. Um, so at the airport, horns and you know flags and lights and you know, I've never seen anything like it, um, to be frank with you. you know, I just came out of the grand final and those celebrations were massive celebrations, but it uh, seems to me that the Samoan community can have a quarter of the numbers of what was at the Panthers thing and you know create three times the amount of noise. So um, the fan day on Tuesday was just a real spectacle made a massive impact in the World Cup last year and um, seen a lot of parades and all that kind of stuff and um, obviously got to a parade in, in, in Sydney and Brisbane and a lot of Auckland fans were saying come out to Auckland and it was obviously really sad and then obviously to be here now um, yeah, to see all the fans was yeah, really special. So it's a different type of feeling seeing that many you know someone flags and all the people out there in support um, yeah just seeing everyone out there just just made it that more special being able to uh, pull on this jersey. How's camp been this time? No, it's been good. Um, the boys have come together really easily. We got um, a good captain leading us from the front. And um, yeah, he's my favorite player. <laughs> um, yeah, just to see so many boys get their debuts last week and get them to see um, experience the Tour Simon camp was you know, obviously really special and hopefully we can build into next week. Yeah, this is my first camp. Um, yeah, look, I've, I've enjoyed it, you know, I've enjoyed every bit of it. Um, the last, you know, week and a half has is, is gone gone real fast. Okay, who is the funniest in the team? Um, Roy Sant, he's cracked up. The funniest, the funniest would probably have to be Hurricane Sewer. He just comes up with a lot of random things, you know, you didn't even know what's going to come out of his mouth. Probably Sua, Sua our fullback, um, he's just a, you know, just a ball of energy, he's from the moment we wake up to the, the moment we fall asleep, he's just always got energy, he's messaging the group chat at like 12.45 in the morning, asking what we're doing and I'm just like, oh, so I'll just go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the hardest hitter? Probably Roy Sun. <laughs> probably Junior Polo, um, obviously. Big love to Ben Hannon, but um, yeah, I'll say I'll say Junes because um, yeah, he's got big hands. Well, seen at training yesterday, I nearly got um, you know nearly got knocked out by Marion Seve, so I'll, I'll probably have to go with him. <laughs> Who's the hardest to tackle? Hardest to tackle, probably Big Stafana. He's just a big boy, ten foot tall. It's been like that since we we're in year seven. Um, so yeah, I'll say him. Um, probably Sua, because he's fast and, and steps everywhere. I'll probably go off Sua as well. Again, actually, I haven't played him before, him, but he just seems like he's hard to tackle. He's real shifty. Um, and then probably as well, Junior as well, trying to tackle him at training. Um, what's on your playlist before this weekend's game? Um, I'm a big J. Cole fan, so probably the um, Forest Hills 2014 playlist that plays on repeat on game day. Got a bit of R&B, a bit of modern hip-hop. Probably a lot of one four, one four looking half sort of thing. Um, yeah. I like my jewel going into games, gets me in that sort of red mindset. So um, yeah, a lot of that. Um, so now we're going to just ask you some quick fire this or that. So I'll give you two options and you tell me what you prefer. Yeah. Uh, galo or fai? Galo. Ah, uh, galo. Galo. Keke poa or keke mamoi? Keke poa. Keke mamoi. Lamb buns. Pineapple pie or bangi popo? Bangi popo. Bang, pop, pop. Bang, pop. But run it straight or sidestep? 
Du sagst dir. Na, warte, steig, warte, steig. Na, sagst du, sagst du. Definitely sagst du. Ihr Lava Lava oder Shorts? Shorts. 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 Jandals oder Kicks? Jandals. Jandals. Kicks. Hide the toes. You got ugly toes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us, um, and we can't wait to see you on the field this weekend. Do you have anything to say to your fans? No, obviously, um, got a lot, a lot of love for all of you. Um, hopefully, get to see you all on Saturday. Um, turn out numbers, and you know, hopefully, we get a better result than last week. So, good to see you.